Hey, what's going on guys? It's Chum here and welcome to episode 18 of our Pokemon Sun Nuzlocke. Now today, before we kick things off, I just want to do a quick, quick team recap. Just because our team has changed quite a bit in the last couple episodes. And in case you guys aren't aware, I want to show you guys what cool things we are rocking with. So first up on our list, we have Fish, the Rock Ruff, with Rock Tomb, Brick Break, Bite, and a Cell Rock. Actually, real quickly, I'm going to change these moves around because I want to get a Cell Rock at the top and Bite at the bottom. I could have done that an easier way, definitely, but that's what our moveset's going to be like. And then next up we have Buzzard, the cutie flight, with Absorb, Draining Kiss, Stun Spore, and Struggle Bug. I'm hoping this thing evolves soon. I can't even remember when it evolves. Hopefully very soon. Uh, next on the list we do have Mudbroth and Mudbray with Mud Slap, Double Kick, Bulldoze, and High Horsepower. Then moving on we have Jupiter, our amazing Araquidid with Scald, Infestation, Bite, and Bug Buzz. Also hold holding the Water EMZ because Water EMZ plus, um, what? Uh, water Bubble will do so much damage. Then next up we have a, uh, a Alolan Grimer with a Brutal Swing, a Poison Fang, a Minimize, and Rock Tomb. And then last but certainly not least, we have our Alva with Tackle, Raise Leaf, Astonish, and Pluck. Who actually, first of all, let's move these. Let's, let's change these moves around first of all. And this Pokemon actually needs to be given the um, the correct Z Crystal. It's still holding the normal MZ. We want to be Rock and Bloom Doom. So take that Grassy MZ. Slap it on our Alva. We want to switch the two items, and then we are good to go. So now I believe our objective for today is to make our way towards, uh, what do you call it? Towards Olivia at the Memorial, uh, Memorial Hill or beyond Memorial Hill. So we're gonna do that. It's right down here. We haven't got a right now. Right, right now. Uh, we haven't got a Route Nine encounter, but we're gonna get a Memorial Hill encounter first. And as always, guys, let's, just, let's actually talk to people first of all, because we want to do that. We want to get all the items people could have to give us. Look at this little rock ruff here. I wish I could have a rock ruff following me. I wish I could have my lichen rock following me. Either way, what was I saying? Uh, as always, we do still have that rule, which for once I'm going to remember, we are allowed to skip Pokemon that aren't new. So if we get an encounter that's, say, a Ghastly, we can skip it, even though I believe we had a Ghastly. So we can skip that because of dupes slash species clause as well. But more importantly, we can skip things that are, what, that aren't new Pokemon. Because we want to make this an experience of Alola, not all the old stuff that the games had to offer previously. Either way, and Umbreon is here. Luckily, we have Brick Break. It'll do super effective damage. Even though the game doesn't tell us, we know for a fact that it does. The Quick Attack does nothing. And Brick Break does 50% to a defensive Pokemon like Umbreon. Kind of crazy. And then Fish should pick up the KO with the second Brick Break. I love Lycan Rock so much. Honestly, I think... I think all of yesterday's episode, or not yesterday, all of the last episode was pretty much me just complimenting Fish and how amazing of a Pokemon it was. Fish wants to learn Raw, not too important, we'll forget about that. And then, next up we'll see nothing, he's only had one Pokemon. It's it's quite strange, a lot of people run around with one Pokemon, I can understand that, but I mean, with a, with a world full of amazing Pokemon like, you know, the world of Pokemon, I can guarantee you I would definitely be having a full team of six, if not cheating a little bit and carrying some more, because I... I want my whole I want my whole family of Pokemon to be hanging around me the entire time. Either way, we're challenged by a preschooler Liam, who's rocking two Pokemon. So he's he's stepping up the old man. He got a Jigglypuff right here. That's not too scary. We can live anything it wants to go for. That's my favorite thing about Fish. Even though without any defensive investment, he is still he is still a monster. He can take hits like there's no tomorrow. I was gonna say we go for a brick break, but this thing is fairy type. Is it fairy normal? I forget. It might be just fairy. We're not going to find out. We can find out next time we fight one because it will tell us uh, based on the super effective, not very effective, and effective uh, tags. Ledian is next. We can kill this thing within a cell rock. And I think after we've defeated this trainer, I think we should switch our lead Pokemon because we don't want Fish to get too over leveled. So, Fish, go for the cell rock. This should one shot, no problem. And it's priority. Look at that damage. Tell me Lycanroc isn't amazing. Tell me it isn't amazing. And actually, guys. Last episode, I did mention that Lycanroc is one of my favorite Pokemon of the generation, if not my actual favorite. Uh, do we want to learn Synthesis? I mean, we forget Tackle, man. We don't need Tackle. We have Astonish, and we have Pluck. We're good. Um, but yeah, like I said, Lycanroc is probably my favorite Pokemon of the generation uh, of this generation. Um, Hakamoto and Jangmoto's line is a really close second. Like, I love Hakamoto. I don't think um, Komoto is as cool as Hakamoto in design-wise. I think Hakamo, which is Hakamo being the second stage, I think it's cooler than Komoto. If Komoto was cool than Hakamo, he'd probably unlike, uh, undoubtedly be my uh, favorite Pokemon. But right now, Rockruff seems to take the cake. Why am I talking to this kid again? Um, 
But yeah, I want to ask you guys, what is your favorite Pokemon from Generation 7? Because I don't think I've asked you guys that yet. So let me know in the comments below which of which of the Pokemon added in Generation 7 is your favorite. And for now, let's not include Alola forms. I think maybe next episode I'll ask you guys what your favorite Alolan form is. Either way, like I said, let me know in the comments section below what your favorite Gen 7 Pokemon is. Um, I'd love to know what you guys think. Like I said, Lycanroc is one of my favorites. Both forms I think are amazing. Uh, Rebombi is really cool too. It's not even that great. I just I kind of formed a really close personal attachment to it throughout my series. Uh, throughout, not my series, throughout my Moon playthrough. And of course, um, like I said, Hakamoto, Komoto, Jengmo, amazing Pokemon. And of course, my beloved starter Decidueye. All amazing Pokemon I love. Pretty much all that I have on this team right now. Uh, sadly, there's a really, really tiny chance it would actually ever end up getting a uh, Jangmo because I had to encounter. I had to. Um, I had to keep encountering Pokemon for a good. I don't know what, maybe like 20, 30 minutes to find a uh, to find a Jangmo. If we manage to get that as our first encounter in the area, I'd be am amazed. But I'm not going to say what the area is, just in case it's kind of spoilers for anyone. Either way, Rock Tomb, come off here. This should get the KO. Maybe I hope so. It does not. Really unfortunate. Hopefully this person does not go for another. Uh, what do you call it? Yo, if this was a rock slide, I'm thinking in my head that it's rock slide. If it was rock slide, it would have picked up the KO. Um, I was like, how? Since, I was like, since when does rock slide a lower? Um, I was thinking, in my head. I was thinking, since when does rock slide lower speed? Then I realized, wait, we're not using rock slide. We are confused. Can we push through? I wasn't even paying attention. We cannot push through. That's unfortunate. I think we might as well just. Ooh, okay, well, well played. I'm pretty sure we can't switch out of wrap. I don't think so. We're wrapped. I'll try to switch out, just you know, for science. Uh, we'll see. I don't think we can. Let's try. Pokemon. Let's go into Mud Bruff for no reason. Yeah, okay, we can't switch out. Wrap does still do that sort of stuff. Uh, we'll go for the XL Rock. It's 100% accurate. We snap out of confusion anyway. It doesn't matter. And Comfy goes down. I believe this is the girl's only Pokemon. Is it? Fish gets level 27. We have to switch Fish out of first place right now. Fish is... Is making too much progress. Buzzard gets level 25, which I think is actually the um, evolution level. Uh, is it ghost type after all? I'm also looking for something that's unexpected. I don't know what she said at the beginning, so I don't know what the relevance what she said just then has. And yes, I was right. Buzzard does evolve at level 25. So we're going to get another one of my favorite Alolan Pokemon. Or not Alolan forms, Alolan Pokemon specifically. Rubombi. The beautiful, the beautiful little... What even are you? You're just, a, you're just beautiful and you're a bug. It has a scarf, guys. It has a scarf. Tell me this Pokemon isn't amazing. Oh, is it a scarf or a cape? Because it could be a cape. Yo. Look, look, look at this. Uh, look at Cutie Fire and look at Ribombi. They're two, two awesome Pokemon. And we finished the page, right? You're going to be happy about me? Yeah, that's right, Rotom. We finished the page. We are on fire today. We have Ribombi, the B Fly Pokemon. Is it a scarf? It is a scarf. See, it's split at the back. It's a scarf. Oh, my goodness. All right. Calm down. Pokemon wear scarves. Rebombi, like I said, the B Fly Pokemon. It rolls up pollen into puffs. It makes many different varieties, some to be used as food and others to be used in battle. That's a really cool Pokedex entry because right now we're going to learn its signature move, which is called Pollen Puff. And it's actually a pretty fun move. It's basically the same base power. No, basically, it is the same base power as Bug Buzz. But um, uh, when used against your opponent, it does damage. When used against your, when used on your ally, it heals them. Really, really, really cool move. I want to try to use it competitively. I think it'd be really interesting to try out. I don't know if I, if uh, Rebombi is very compatible for competitive because it's not very it's not very strong um, physically or defensively. Uh, but we'll see what happens. Either way, I already told you, woman, leave me alone. And have we even got our encounter yet? This is the first bit of grass we've gone through. So let's see what our encounter for Memorial Hill is going to be. And it is a. Did I predict this in the beginning of the episode, saying if we found a ghastly? Yo, Mud Fish is still out front. We need to put Mudbra out front. Mudbra is falling behind. Like I said, we're going to skip Ghastly because, first of all, it is dupes. Uh, and and uh, that's my passport. I, I, I always forget that if I go to the right accidentally, I can't press right again to go back to the left. Because this game is just different. Wait, how is Mudbra falling behind so much? I thought Mudbra was one of the top tier Pokemon. Oh my goodness. Mudbra, take the, take the wheel. Give me an encounter. Give me something new. I don't know what I could even get from here. All I know is that Ghastly is here. There's probably going to be... Drumroll, please. Phantom. I have... I, I retain the right to say no. But, like I said earlier, if I do ever end up deciding that I do not want to get an Alolan Pokemon or wait for an Alolan Pokemon, uh, Phantom is locked as my first encounter, so I'll have to find another Phantom. Hopefully, it's not hard to find. 
We'll, we'll give it two more attempts at, at, in the grass and then we'll head on and make, a, and make our way onwards. I don't want to spend the entire episode sitting in the grass here hoping to find a Pokemon. Because that's just crazy talk. Zubat is here. This is, of course, something I can skip out on. And, of course, uh, it is... Uh, what is it? What's that word? It is not a Lolan, so it's not brand new. It's not worth it. We can't run away. I'm a fool. We're using the slowest Pokemon in my team to try and run away from Pokemon. We got away safely a second time, though. That's, that's all good and well. So, like I said, two more encounters. Give me something brand new. Is there actually going to be no new Pokemon in this grass? So that'd be kind of crazy. Because I don't even think there's a single new ghost type. Oh, there is Mimikyu, the new ghost type. Phantom is here still. You know what? I think I'm going to take it. I think I'm going to take it. Go for the high horsepower because it does damage. It does damage. We outspeed this thing. Wow. Oh my god, don't die. Thank you. I was like, I know I know it's resisted, so it shouldn't kill, but oh my goodness, it did a lot more than I thought it would. Either way, we'll take the Phantom. I don't even think there's any new Pokemon in this grass. If I'm wrong, if it's something really incredible, I'm going to feel like a fool. Uh, please don't call for help. I just want to catch you. Please fail. Damn it. Okay, we'll switch out. We'll switch into um, Alva, and then we'll take this thing out. We'll take the other one out. Stop frisking me, man. Stop frisking me. Let's go into, like I said, Alva. Yo, Jupiter. I'm uh, sorry, Jupiter. Sorry, Garbu is, is, is ahead of the game right now. Level 28. Looking fine. Looking fresh. Still garbage, of course, but still. The freshest of garbage. And I don't mean garbage as an insult. It's literally garbage Pokemon. Like, literally what it is. Either way, let's... The pro plays. I, I really, really desperately want to go for the Bloom Doom. And I know I can't, but I want to. We'll go for the Pluck. It is the stab move after all, and it is more, way more base power than Astonish. This thing should fall over. And we'll catch the other Phantom, which... Yo, do I even have a name for this Pokemon? I swear... Oh, I do. I do have a name. I do have a name. Don't worry, everyone. Calm down. Calm down. We have a name. We have a name. And we're going to go and catch this thing in the Pokeball. And we're going to do... We're going to use an Ultra Ball again, because we have one more. And this thing is not on the lowest of HP. Stay in the ball, please. I beg of you. You can join the you can join the fam. Whether you join the party is up to you and up to me. Whether or not I fail and, and lose a lot of Pokemon. But Phantom is caught. Cool. This might be the no. This is the second. This is the second non-new Pokemon we decided to catch. Uh, sadly, the first one is uh, you know in in the grave. It was it was already a ghost type and it died. How 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 dark is that? And this is another ghost type. Fun fact, not fun. It's a fact. I don't know if it's that fun. Uh, but we get Phantom registered in the Pokedex. Making progress, we have Phantom, these are stump Pokemon. These Pokemon are stumps possessed by the spirits of children who died in the forest. Their cries sound like eerie screams. That is dark. That is very dark. I know it's not as dark, no, it's not any more dark than it used to be in old gens, but still dark. Still very dark. We're gonna call this thing Groot. Why? Because I'm not original. I'm not original in the slightest. We're gonna go with Groot. Groot is here, baby Groot to be specific. Will we get, um, you know, adult Groot? Who knows? Either way, we're going to send Groot to the box and we'll carry on with our adventure. I believe there's something cool about to happen here from memory. We're going to head onwards and there we go. This is the cool thing we're talking about. Team Skull, give back that Pokemon. No? Don't give me trouble. I will juice you to rubble. That's right. We're going to sell this Pokemon to get rich and we don't take no, we don't make no bones about it. If you want it back, you're going to have to take it. No? Stand firm. Wait. What kind of voice would this guy have? I have no idea. Stand firm. No, that's not it. I don't know. I don't know what voice to give this man. I don't know. We're just going to go with normal voice for now. We'll figure out later. Stand firm. Think of what the president would say. That's what you say, chief. But you don't lift a finger. Why? I am the Eat the Foundation's last line of defense. What would, what would become of the foundation if something were to happen to me now? I think, I think we'll go with that voice. Ah. Here, it, here is a promising young trainer. Fight in my stead, child, and rout these skull ruffians. I will bestow upon you, I, I will bestow honor upon you if you do. So he's kind of like, yo, I'm, I'm kind of all um, high and mighty kind of thing with a bit of an arrogant tone to his voice. Either way, you ready? Because I was born ready, yo. Don't ask me questions and not wait for my answer. That is disrespectful. That is disrespectful. And I'm going to show you what happens when you disrespect me. I'm gonna body you with, with with my uh with my with my mud bro. Radicate, yo. This radicate is about to get destroyed. Why? Cause we rocking something fierce. 
right here. We rock in the all out plumbling, plumbling, plumbling. Hyperfang is here. We should eat this up. No problem. We are defensive as all hell. And here it comes. The all out plumbling Z move. Let's go. I, I still find it so funny that I actually bought a Z ring thing to be like, yo, I'm looking at me. I'm doing Z ring moves. And I don't even use it ever. I should try it. Maybe one day. Not today, but one day. When we get the Decidium Z, I'll do it. Spoiler alert. Decidium Z exists. This thing's going to get blown back. A Z move that's four times too effective. Literally, literally just in the mountain. Gone. Done and dusted. Get out of my grill. And down goes the Raticate. Yo. Announcers, like in Pokemon Stadium, my favorite thing in any Pokemon game. So much fun. I don't know where that came from. I literally just mimicked him and I was like, you know what? They're cool as hell. And actually, some of my some of my fondest Pokemon memories are from games like that. Either way, moving on, let's talk about the, the scene happening here. That loss was pathetic. Your moves are so kinetic. We don't need this Pokemon anyway. Take it then. Good luck and good riddance. That wasn't even rhyming. And I tried. I tried so hard, guys. I tried. He didn't rhyme. Phew. No? Thanks, kid. Yes, indeed. You are a Trago, aren't you? You're a splendid trainer. I am truly impressed. I'd like to reward you by showing you something truly outstanding. Once you have finished your grand trial, come to Hana Grand Resort and I will take you to see a wondrous place. Thank you for helping us out. I really owe you. I'm so glad you are, there are nice young trainers like you around. Good luck on your island challenge. Yo, she seems so nice. I think that was a she. There's an item back here. Let's grab it. Let's grab it. Let's grab it. Can I, can I have that slowpoke? I love how they want to sell a slowpoke, but the thing is like literally catchable on Route 3. And it's like, like, not even Route 3, Route 1. It takes like 10 seconds to find. But you know, whatever, whatever's clever. Akala Outskirts. The, the thing popped up saying your new route, so it is a new encounter. But first, we grab in that Leech Life TM. Because it's important to us. Yo, do, do we want a water type? Do we want a water type Pokemon? Because we, we technically have... Um... We have a Magikarp, meaning we can cancel the encounter if we do pull a Magikarp right now. And it's the bubble, so it could be a rare Pokemon. What's it going to be? Our first encounter on a color outskirts. Is it going to be something cool? It is a Magikarp. We can run away. We have one of these already. Plus, it's actually, um, again, another old Pokemon, which we are allowed to skip out on whenever we please. Uh, we should heal up before we carry on anyway. And I'm pretty sure... The first time I caught a Magikarp, I forgot about the rule that I can skip Pokemon, which is pretty foolish of me, but it's fine. We will carry on. We're not, we're not going to fish again because the chances of actually finding something new is going to be even lower. Let's actually bag up, uh, bag up, potion up our, uh, our beautiful mud bread. We have a bunch of potions. We'll just go for two regular potions. Look at that. Perfect. Perfect 40 HP. And then we'll grab our encounter in the grass instead. Please? Anything? What are we going to get? We're going to get a... Nose Pass. Well, that is quite interesting, actually. And I think we'll kill it for the XP. But I'm not going to catch it. I don't think I want to catch this thing. High horsepower. We outspeed this thing. Wow. That's kind of wild. That is kind of crazy. Ah. Sorry, just taking a quick drink. Oh, I was like, why the hell did this thing fall asleep? It used rest. I look away for two seconds. Yo. Bulldoze? I had to, I had to two-shot it anyway. Why, why, why risk the miss with high horsepower? Down goes the speed. I don't know why we're killing this thing. It's honestly, it's honestly going to be like a tiny shred of experience. But you know what? Some wild Pokemon deserve attention. This nose pass is one of them. For a second, I thought that first kick wasn't going to KO. And I was going to get upset. I know there's two kicks, but still. But there's no way that first kick should not have killed. Shouldn't have killed. Yeah. Should not. I don't know. Words. Let's just change patches of grass. I think this one is the one we want. There's a Zygarde cell right there. Let's grab that too once we're done. But what is it going to be? Our first encounter on a color Island. A color Outskirt, sorry. Wingull. I get to skip you. Yo, there's like no other Pokemon here. What is going on? Okay, we're going to run away from me. Run, run away from you, Wingull. And you're going to let us go. And you're not going to water tap attack. I mean, you didn't water type attack, so I can't hate you too much. And there you have it. We live another one. We don't care. We're running. This is this is why Mudbray is never in front. Literally why Mudbray is never in front. 
Run, please. What do you... Oh, my bro, you're useless. You're so useless. You need a smoke ball. That's what you need. You need a smoke ball. I'm, I'm honestly done with your foolishness. Go into Buzzard. That's Oliver. Let's go into Buzzard. Ah, Mudbray, I want to train you up, but you make it so hard because every time I find anything that has like that has feet, if it has feet and it can move, you can't run away from it because it's too fast for you. They both use mist. What fools. Should take a lesson from Rebombi. Rebombi's fast. Rebombi runs away. I'm not even going to heal you, man. No, I'm going to heal you. I'm not crazy. I am not crazy. But we'll use the super potion because we have so many of them, and I don't want to. I don't want to sit here wasting time healing multiple times. We might as well heal uh, fish while we're at it. And Oliver has a little bit of HP loss, but he's fine. Oliver's okay. We'll grab the Zygarde cell, and we'll find an encounter in this patch of grass. Please, pretty please. I'm actually gonna switch and run. I'm not gonna bother. I'm not gonna bother. With actually, you know what? We have no Pokemon that can counter Wingle. Wingle hits the Wingle kills our entire team. Ready? With water, with flying, with flying. Uh, with water, with flying. Oh, Gabu. Gabu's not even faster though. We're gonna switch into Gabu anyway. Yo, Wingle runs through us. Straight through us. Not even runs, he flies through us. Air cutters here. We Whoa, crit hit. Okay. I was gonna say, that did way more than it should have. I know how Gabu doesn't even have feet. Ah, uh, Mudbread, and he can run away. So, think about what you've been doing with your life. By the way, we'll, we'll actually battle this guy right here, because he's, he's, he's hanging out, showing off his moves, and he, he wants someone to see them, and I feel like I should be that someone. Otherwise, he's going to be upset, and I don't want my, I don't want random fighter guy to be upset. Black Belt Kenji. Let's go. Hariyama is here. Shall we go for a high horsepower? I think we shall. We have full HP. We are defensive, relatively, because we're a Mudbray. Uh, let's go for the high horsepower. We outspeed. Oh my goodness. Are you going for a whirlwind? No, a vital throw. Is that negative priority? Yo, we can't live another one. We cannot live another one. Jupiter, let's go. Jupiter, I have faith in you. You resist the stab. You have all the defenses. I love this Pokemon so much. The one thing I don't understand about this Pokemon is it's called a Raquinid. As you guys can tell by the, by the species name. But it has six legs. So, confusing, to say the least. Why are you living? Whirlwind, that's fine. Whatever comes out here can finish it off. What's it going to be? Mudbra. This thing kind of speed us with Vital Throw anyway, so we might as well just go for the Bulldoze and call it a day. There we go. Well done, Mudbra. Getting the KO. Not being useless as you were in the Wingull battle. And then, we don't get a level, which is unfortunate. When What level does Mudbra evolve? I really want to get Mudsdale. I really do. Mudsdale's a really cool Pokemon. And it's actually really useful competitively. Either way, we'll give it one more attempt at the grass for a wild Pokemon that isn't from a previous generation. What's it going to be? It's going to be a... Ooh. A Gumshoes. I mean, we have we have a Young Goose. So this is Species. So we're going to run away. Please let me run away, please. Thank you. Thank you. I think what we'll do is we'll actually... Uh, we'll skip it for now. And we'll come back later if we really need an encounter. But I shouldn't have, I shouldn't have gone through here without healing up. So, you're the one Gladian was talking about. Hm, you don't look like anything special to me. Oh my god, it's Plumeria. I'm Plumeria. I keep two skull together. I'm like a big sister to these numb skulls. You realize what idiots these guys are, right? But don't you think some dummies are cute in their dumb... But don't you think some dummies are cute in their dumbass, dumbness, dumbassness, lol? You know what I mean, right? You picking on my cute, dumb brothers and sisters? Really? Annoying me. Yo, this music though. This music is fire. I love the Team Scar music, it's pretty cool. I love how the music is done so well that, um, it kind of it kind of goes slowly and then it builds up as the Pokemon is sent out. Really well done, Game Freak. Really, really well done. We're gonna we're gonna fight. We're gonna switch into Fish. Fish a one shot with Rock Tomb. No problems. No questions asked. Go for a Flying type move. Oh God. Oh God. Go 
Why? Why confuse Ray? Rock Tomb, we're not gonna get confused. You outspeed me. Whoa. Fish breakthrough. Yes, my boy. And one shot. Tell me fish isn't amazing. Oh my goodness. Mudbra getting a level. And what do you have next? Saland it. Yo, Mudbra, your time to shine. Go for that bulldoze. One shot. This foolish little. Did it say Saland or Salazzle? If it's Salazzle, I'm dead. No, it's Saland. It's cool. We're fine. But it is female. So Salazzle is coming. Bulldoze. Poison gas. Actually, you know what? If this thing went for a strong fire type move, we could have died at half health. Which uh, is a risk we should not have taken. But we luck out here, so I'm, I'm fine with that. I'm fine with that. So we defeated Team Skull Admin Plumeria, and we received some money, which was double because of uh, because of Rockruff's Lycan Rock Fish's amulet coin. You're pretty strong. I'll give you that. But mess with anyone in Team Skull again, and I'll show you how serious I can get. That strut? That strut? Okay, let's heal up. Let us heal up. We should have gone for the care method, because we could have cared for, uh... We could have cared for Mudbray to get the, uh... The, the poison gone. We'll give everyone the tiny bit of HP they are lacking. Because we want everyone to be healthy. Garbo's gonna be 2 HP away, that's fine. Garbo, you're okay. You don't need that 2 HP. I say that, but I could be wrong. Either way, give me a second. I'm gonna take another quick drink. Actually, we'll walk into the next area and we'll start. We'll start. We'll start things happening because I think there might be a cutscene in this area. Nope, not yet. There almost is. Let me keep walking. Let me keep walking. In, not in a straight line. There we go. Let the cutscene play out while I get a drink. Ah, feels good, man. Chum. Lily got lost again, so I brought her to you. I love how, I love how that's what happens. She gets lost, like, oh, who should I go to? I'll bring her to Chum, like I'm her caregiver. I like that. Because me and Lily, I ship it. I ship main character and Lily. Fight me about it. She couldn't even find a way to the Tide Song Hotel on her own. She said she, was, she saw Team Skull and tried to avoid them. That's why she got lost. Now I've got to go. The Martial Royal has a match and there's no way I'm, I'm missing it. I, lo I love that she plays along with the whole Master Royale thing. That Mask Royale. What do you think he looks like under that mask anyway? Obviously kidding. There's no way she doesn't know. She's laughing. She's laughing as she says it. There's no way. There's no way she doesn't know. Uh, I came I came here for Nebby. Though, as as you saw, I didn't come here myself so much as I was brought here with the professor's help. Oh, look. Oh, look at that poor mud braid. Let me... Every single time, guy. Every single time. When I played through Moon, every single time, I was like, you know what? I should be healed up for this battle. Someone heals me. Within these ruins awaits the guardian deity of the Kala Island. This is Tapu Lele's ruin. Yo, yo, Nebby's excited. You, I know you tried to drag me along to the ruins of conflict on Mele Mele Island too. Why are these ruins important to you? What do these guardians mean to you? No, nothing, just, just a big smile. Yo, me and Nebby are a lot alike. No matter what happens around us, we're always just like, with a big ass smile on our face. I, sh I ship main character and Nebby. We're like twins. Oh my goodness. Just think what would have happened to you if Chum hadn't been there back then. Yo, Nebby's excited. Because Olivia has arrived. Yo, we're going to beat up Olivia and then we're going to call it an episode. Actually, if I can stop myself from battling her, I will call it an episode right now. Because we've gone for too long, guys. We've gone for too long. I'm going to give you guys a cliffhanger if I can. Either way. Oh, yes. My name is Lily. I work as Professor Kukui's assistant. And this is Chum. Of course, you'd know us already. Oh, sorry. I never even asked you your name before, did I? Tapu Lele summoned me here to get, to clean up the ruins. Chum, thanks for getting to know the people and the Pokemon of Alola. You're very welcome. Yo, Lily's backing off to watch the battle. To watch the battle. All right, then. You completed the trials of all three captains here on Akala Island. Now you face the grand trial of the Kahuna, me. Get ready for your hardest Pokemon battle. Not yet. Fine, I don't want to win just because you weren't prepared enough. 
I don't like I don't like to say no, but guys, I'm so sorry. We have to end this episode. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure you hit that like button. And of course, if you guys want to see more episodes of this series as they come out, and if you guys want to see the continuation of this scene here, if you want to see me battle Olivia, make sure you hit that subscribe button also to see that battle as it comes or that video as it comes out. Either way, guys, until next time, I hope you have a wonderful day.